Bullet Train! Oh, we went to go see Bullet Train, and basically, I liked it. I liked this movie. Number one reason why I like this movie, Brad Pitt has sort of ascended to a level of celebrity and actor stardom where he can just walk into this movie and be like, no, nah, I'm not going to take it too seriously. And I, I like the guy. Uh, I found him relatable and likable, which is... Tough to do for a big movie star, I think. Um, it was fun. It was it was action packed. It was funny. It was shot beautifully, and like there were a couple couple scenes there. I was like, how are they even doing this? So it was uh, it was an enjoyable experience for me. I gotta say, overall. What about you? You were you were sitting next to me. <laughs> what do you think? Well. First, let me just say, I think the worst part about this movie is that it keeps making you say bullet train. Okay, that's not um, how I sound. <laughs> it isn't to me. <laughs> um, oh, well, now I can talk about um, my picture here. Bullet train! Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, it's this side. Okay, s- wait, sorry, no, wait. It's not. Okay, here. Snakes Get it together. On a- snakes on a train. It's backwards. Snakes on a train. <laughs> So why do I have this poster? Please. Um, because they're on a train and there's a snake on the train. That's it. That's the only. That's reason. the only reason. Yes. Sorry for wow. the spoilers. Um, it's it, but it, you know, it's an important part of the movie. And I was considering another spoiler. I was considering also doing Thomas the Tank Engine, but then I thought, why not go a little more subtle and uh, you know throw in something that nobody would really recognize. Um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this movie, um, I had I had fun. It reminded me of um, uh, what's Snatch by, uh, what's his name? Guy... Uh, Richie? Guy Richie. yes, thank you. Great movie. Uh, it was a combination of that. Andrew, we both said that we kind of felt moments where it was similar to the agreement, but obviously better, right? Well, okay, so there's a couple things. I think maybe society's a little hungry for secret agent code name action stuff. Um, and there's a lot of that going on here. We don't really know anybody's name in this movie, which is cool. Everybody's got a code name. It opens itself up to being a series better than The Gray Man, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, there was there was action, but it wasn't mindless or pointless action. Every shot made sense, and it wasn't um, you know it wasn't self serious at all. Right. It never tried to take itself too seriously at any point. Better and writing, yeah. Much better writing, better acting, I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, certainly better direction. And s- the style. I mean, this movie had style. The costumes, yeah. the sets, the lighting. I, I Like I said before, I originally thought this was like a Street Fighter adaptation when I saw the trailer. Um, and it carries that aesthetic through the whole thing. It's, um, it's exciting. And they... Um, they're, they're, for all the good things I have to say about it, the critics are not being terribly kind to this movie on Rotten Tomatoes. And it's, I think it's sitting around 56% with the green rotten splat, which is, I think it's harsh. Yeah, it's just kind of weird because I feel like critics were so much kinder to the gray man. And I don't yeah, really see it. Is it, do you think it's because it was like, they were all like, oh, it was good for a Netflix film. And whereas this was just automatically, you know, meant for the theaters, and they're like, yeah, for a theater movie. Uh, I know. don't know. I mean, the thing is, this is a movie. I'm not generally one to go see action movies just for the sake of seeing action movies. Because I knew I was going to review it for this, I thought, I'm going to just see what it's all about. But I enjoyed it. Yeah. And it was more cinematic than The Gray Man. It yeah, was definitely. Every, every shot was was cool you know there's there's some legitimately cool action in here um and it's not action for action's sake right and then you know you could just tell there were so many scenes where they just really had fun with it but it still was important um well there was one that wasn't the water bottle that whole segment but that was just fun to have i like that no yeah no that was great the movie's constantly poking fun at itself which is great the cameos in this are unbelievable um, yeah. I won't spoil those, but that's part of the appeal of this. And they even did it better than um, 
than Marvel has been handling yeah. their cameos because Marvel, it's guess who's playing this character, you know. Mm-hmm. For this, it's yeah, he's in the movie too. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't have to be for very long, but right. it's just like these charming little things that make a difference. Um, right. And I could see them turning this into other movies where they do that on, you know, on another train or another plane. We'll see. What, but it, With more snakes. More snakes. More snakes for sure. I will um, say, hmm. sorry, I was just going to say that the negatives of this movie was um, spoilers. Specifically, uh, the Thomas, the tank engine joke. We've talked about this. Yeah, it, the, the, this, this could have been, there's a, running, there's a running gag where they reference Thomas, the tank engine. Um, it's not, it's not funny the first time. It's becomes this thing that rears its head 20 30 other times in the movie and it doesn't need to be there at all um they could have sold it better they could have made the character bringing it up a lot dumber that might have helped me uh, enjoy it i i like the concept behind having it because it, it there was a point to it by the end it was an yeah. important piece of the story but um i think yeah, I think the way the jokes were handled by the, yeah. the characters involved in it kind of got most of the jokes I would say landed. Um, that one they really went all in on it, and maybe that's the joke. That's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, that they just committed to it. Fine, okay, but it wasn't my favorite part. Does it get in the way of the enjoyability of the movie? I wouldn't say so. I think it's a good movie. I think it it added to it in its own way, like. I like that it was there. Mm. There There's just things that I think it it could have gone in a different direction. Uh, By the way, uh, Dan's saying in the chat, bullet plane answers to everything in life or bullet boat for future future films. They could do this anywhere. They could literally do this anywhere. I don't know. That, That is the question. And maybe this is how you guys will get in on the conversation today. How do you turn this into a franchise? Because it takes place on a bullet train. What is this... Does it become like next title a bullet train saga? How do we how would you name this franchise if it were to go on for many more movies? Disney's bullet uh cruise. <laughs> a, a, a cruise, a Disney cruise, and it's this. I think that would be great. That would be I mean, imagine like, but it's a knockoff of Disney characters. So you have like character costumes, because they kind of did that a little bit in um in bullet train they had like that weird japanese um cartoon character that kept reoccurring yeah they could totally do that if they had like a themed cruise liner kind of thing um sure might be interesting i mean but there's, there's nothing tying it other than maybe brad pitt coming back and i would much rather watch this funny brad pitt character than this serious ryan gosling character yeah no that i mean i would think brad pitt would come back yeah. Yeah. I mean, everybody, I everybody clearly enjoyed being on this movie. Right. You know, you, this is, this is a movie where you can feel the fun of the production and that's, that's part of it. Like I said, it's, uh, it, it brought me back to watching the, uh, the outtakes in rush hour after the credits. I like that kind of stuff. I was surprised there wasn't a gag reel at the end of this. It's been a while since I've seen a really good gag reel for a movie and this would have done it. But I think that's uh, that's pretty much what we have to say about this. Good movie. I, I enjoyed it. Go see it. In the meantime, follow us. Be our friend. Uh, be our... Don't say it, Andrew. Don't say that. Be our brothers and sisters. And, uh, and enjoy content and commentary with us. Thank you for watching.